Ladies and gentlemen, please take your seats. The show is about to begin.
All right, here we go, everyone. Welcome to the Game Awards pre-show. I am Jeff Keeley. The main show is on the way at the top of the hour, and I can't wait to share it with you. But right now, we're going to recap some of this year's nominees, highlight what's on the way, present some Game Awards, and unveil some of our many never-before-seen world premieres. This is the fifth year of the Game Awards. I simply can't believe it. And each year, we try to build on the moments you love with what we hear loud and clear from the community. And actually it's a little intimidating because we got such a great response to last year's show. You know, this year we're bringing back the Game Awards Orchestra. We're making that bigger and better part of the show, I think, in many ways. We're expanding the reach of the show to many more platforms, so you'll be able to watch it around the world in many different languages, which I think is really important, that we can have people around the world kind of share our night. We're allowing people to vote in new ways. Um, you know, gamers get to choose the winners alongside our judge board. And this year you can vote on Discord server, you can vote on Twitter, Facebook, even with your voice on Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant. We have, uh, I think, more new games being announced this year at the show than ever before, um, which is really exciting that a lot of studios around the world have been working in secret to kind of prepare for the Game Awards. One of the things we found last year that fans really liked were these giveaways and special incentives to kind of watch the show and earn things in games that they love. Uh, Steam, we did something called a game giveaway, which was amazing, and people just got excited because if you were watching the show, Steam Santa would just sort of drop games into your account if you were lucky enough. So we're doing that again, and we're expanding that um, in a lot of really interesting ways. We also do the Game Awards sale, and this is a chance for gamers around the world to get special offers on nominated games on their favorite gaming system. And this year, we're working again with PlayStation Store, with Xbox, with Nintendo eShop, with Steam, to create special offers on the nominees. And every platform will do this differently. There'll be some games that are across all, some only on certain ones. I hope that people will see a game in the show and say, oh, that's amazing. This just won, I wanna go buy this game, but I get a special offer on it tonight, let me go grab it. And look, the stories that matter the most to me coming out of the show are sometimes when these game developers will call me up on the Monday after, a small indie team, and say, you know what, Jeff, like, it was cool we were in the show, but we actually sold like a lot of games this weekend. That makes all the hard work worthwhile for everyone on the team, I think, to know that these developers have a platform and we can drive an audience to check out a game that they're really gonna love. Now, 2018 was an incredible year in gaming, and we say it every year, but this industry continues to get bigger and better. So we've been using this tagline, worlds will change, in our promo campaign, and I think it started with some people thinking like, this is the you know announcement of this game, but really the tagline, to be honest with you, what it means is that a lot of existing games have evolved this year in unique and different ways. I look at some of the in-game storytelling that Fortnite's done with the rocket launch and the cube and all these other moments and how other games have evolved. You know, No Man's Sky, it's like nominated this year and it's like it's a, almost a completely you know, new game and they've been updating it. So the Worlds Will Change really reflects the idea that the games that we initially play evolve over time. Used to be you would you know get your cartridge, get your CD, play the game, move on. Now you keep those games in your systems and what you're gonna see this year at the Game Awards is a lot of these sort of ongoing games are going to evolve at our show too in interesting ways. So that's kind of a tease of that theme that the worlds you know, you may not know anymore after the Game Awards. We often get asked how we pick the winners for the Game Awards. The nominees are selected by a jury of press from around the world. There are over 65 different publications or they often have staffs that have played all these games. So we think that's the best way to sort of survey everything out there in a very neutral agnostic way and say, hey, here are the, the games that we think are the best of the best. Those lead to the nominees which have been announced. And then the winners are selected by a blended vote between the jury and also the public that gets to vote and help influence it. Some people say like, well, why don't you do 100% fan voting? And a lot can be socially engineered and I don't want awards to go to games that just happen to you know, be able to have more Twitter followers or you know, buy a bunch of ads to somehow convince people to vote for them. So I really think it's important that the right games win and we have an authentic, credible process and that's how we're gonna continue with um, voting for the Game Awards. Game of the Year is such a competitive category in 2018. So will it be Marvel's Spider-Man or Red Dead Redemption? This whole thing is pretty much done. <laughs> Good one. Or will it be God of War? Close your heart to their desperation. Celeste. A 
Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Define who we will become. Your Monster Hunter world. <laughs> You're on the A-list, right? We're about to find out at the end of the night. I cannot wait to see how this ends. But right now, here's a look at our first world premiere. Welcome to the Microsoft Theater for the Game Awards 2018. Everyone ready for a big show? This is so exciting. We have our biggest show ever coming up at the top of the hour. There is so much news, so many surprises. The Game Awards Orchestra, and we are streaming live around the world in over 45 platforms. So I want to say hi to everyone watching in China and India and all across the world. I know it's late in Europe, but stick around because we have an amazing show ahead for you with awards, of course, some new game announcements. I know everyone's anticipating things. Stay tuned, and a lot of special guests. We're gonna kick off the show tonight, or the pre-show, before we get to the main show at the top of the hour, with a guy who made some headlines last year, Joseph Ferris, back here at the Game Awards. Hello, 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 hello. <laughs> we thought we'd get to you early in the night, Joseph, before it's things get too crazy. It's actually nice to be the first guest, to be honest with you. Actually, you should have the award. Look what you have put together, man. Like awesome, it, awesome. It, Thank you. This, this guy should, it's, it's crazy, it's five years. Imagine in 10 years what you will do. I hope I'm we're really, gonna, I'm really we'll proud to be here. I'm really happy to be back here. And I'm really excited to be here again. Well, you're a nominee tonight as well. Congratulations for well, best thanks. game direction for A Way Out. I'm expecting to win, so hopefully okay. I get up on stage. I, I, I was gonna say, I can only imagine your speech. Well, Joseph, uh, we're excited uh, to have you here tonight. <laughs> Uh, well, get me started, Jeff. <laughs> the internet wants to hear from you, right? How do you think we're doing this year compared to the other award shows out well, there? Well, we just started, but I feel yeah. like it's becoming bigger and bigger. And yeah. I, I'm telling you, in five years, this is going to be the craziest thing ever in the whole world. The camera's back. Definitely sure. All right, All right. Oh, yeah, yeah, the camera's <laughs> here. But I like to have, I love to have connection with the audience, you know? I That's know. the thing. The last year when I was here, people yeah. thought I was crazy. I mean, I am a bit crazy, yeah. but it's the audience and like the, the way they were like everyone cheering. Everyone around the world. Yeah, everyone it's around crazy. the world. Yeah, of course. We yeah. all love games. Yeah. But right. I can't see the people in the world. Everybody loves games, of course. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's, it's great to be here. Great to be here. All right, well, Joseph, uh, you are here for another purpose right now. We're going to give away our first award of the evening uh, for Best Action Game. And let's take a look right now at the nominees for Best Action Game this year. As voted on by the jury and fans, the Action Game nominees are Call of Duty, Black Ops 4, Dead Cells, Destiny 2 Forsaken, Far Cry 5, and Mega Man 11. Joseph, uh, we'd love for you to do the honors and let us know who wins best action game this year. The best action games is Dead Cells. Dead Cells, congratulations to the guys from Motion Twin. Hello, how are you guys? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You guys looking very dapper, and this is for you. Right Gosh. here, a Game Award, it's heavy. Thank you so much. The stage is yours. Gosh, it's pretty heavy. Oh my God. Congratulations, how's it feel? Uh, this is so unexpected that we yeah. even prepared a speech for this award, actually. Yeah. So. Just a special thought for the whole team back in France, yeah. are hopefully watching us at 3 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> I hope you guys are awake because, yeah, you just made it, so congratulations. You should be proud of yourself. Congratulations, guys. It was an incredible game. I know a long time coming, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, and just a special thanks uh, for our incredible community of fans. 
Uh, it may sound a bit cliche, but we couldn't have done it without them. Yeah. So thank you so much for your support. You want to say <laughs> something also? Yeah, sorry, man. Yes. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> it feels like it was, I like your hat, man. It's cool. I, think, huh? I know. Oh, thank nice you. Fashion <laughs> sense. Really cool. No, yeah, it's really amazing. Uh, yeah. yeah, really unexpected, and we are really proud for our fans and all. Everyone who loved the game. Wow, the game be. is incredible. Yeah. You guys did a great job. Thanks for coming all this well, way to the Game Awards. Thank you very much. Congratulations just... on your first of many Game Awards, we hope. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much, guys. Thank all right. You so thank much. you. Congratulations. Thank you Joseph, thank you. thank you as well. well Good luck thank tonight. You. Hope to see you on stage I was going to say, we got another trophy maybe with your name on Take it. Take care, right. Jeff. Thank you very much, Joseph Ferris. All right. Uh, we've got some more world premieres to get to you uh, here before we get to the main show at the top of the hour. Uh, right now, we're going to take a look at the first game from a new studio up in Montreal, Canada, Typhoon. It's published by 505 Games with support from Epic Games and Makers Fund. Check out the announcement of this title. Once again, we would like to thank you for joining the Pioneer Program here at Kindred Aerospace. For the eighth year running, Kindred has been voted the fourth best interstellar exploration company by our peers. Oxygen levels critical. Oxygen levels critical. Automatic distress signal. Relate command center. Mayday. Mayday. This is not good. As you continue to explore your wonderful new planet, we hope that you will carry the Kindred Value System in your heart, and that one day it will be your planet that will provide a future home for humanity. Onward to adventure! That was the announcement of Journey of the Savage Planet. I'm now here with Alex Hutchinson, one of the founders of the new indie team at Typhoon Studios. So first of all, Alex, welcome to the show. Uh, why did you guys start this new studio up in Montreal? Uh, I think it's that moment in life. You know, we've been doing this about 15 years for myself, making games for other people. So it's incredibly uh, amazing to see a game we built on our own from nothing with friends of ours in the business. And to see it on, you know, at your show on the big screen is, is super fulfilling. So in a weird way, that's the, that's the start of the reason why. All right, well, we're, we love supporting new teams. Tell us a bit about Journey to the Savage Planet, kind of a teaser trailer, so what kind of game is it? Yeah, so everyone, they watch the teaser and they always say, is it a, is it a, a, you know, a battle royale? No, it's absolutely not a battle royale. Is it a survival game? No, it is not. Uh, it's an adventure game. You get dropped on a, a strange alien world by a company called Kindred Aerospace, who are very proud to be the fourth best uh, interstellar space exploration company. So they drop you there with absolutely no gear, high hopes and no ability, and they hope that you can uh, solve the, uh, the mystery of what's on the savage planet. Okay, and uh, how can we find out more about this game when we get updates? Uh, so we're not going to show much gameplay until next year, but we're very excited to do it. So we'll show you gameplay and uh, uh, all kinds of new bits and pieces as soon as we start next year. All right, so uh, get ready for 2019. Alex, thank you so much for coming down and uh, you. showing your game for the first time appreciate here it. at the Game Awards. We really appreciate it. All right, uh, now we're going to move on to present another award now uh, for the best role-playing game. And the nominees in this genre category are Dragon Quest XI, Monster Hunter World, Nino Kuni 2, Octopath Traveler, and Pillars of Eternity 2. And this is an award I get to give out uh, for best role playing game. Let me open this one up. And the winner for best role playing game goes to Monster Hunter World. Congratulations. Oh, guys, how are you? Congratulations. 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 It's for you guys. How does it feel? <laughs> Photo op. How's it feel? Yeah, I know. It's very great that we actually were able to come to come from Japan. Welcome. この I mean, uh, creating the game, this game, 
we were talking with amongst the team members that it, it's kind of our goal to actually be able to hear, be here and receive the award. Wow. <laughs> so we made the we made it. Yeah, full circle. That's that yeah. means a lot to all of us. Thank you so much. And one more thing. We will have a great news for our fans soon. <laughs> How soon? Like tonight soon? So this is Like a few days later. Okay, all right. Scratch that off your bingo card. All right. Well, congratulations, guys, on winning the best RPG for Monster. And congratulations on being nominated for Game of the Year as well. So maybe we'll see you guys again on stage. Thank you very much, guys. Congratulations. Awesome. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, well, you know, there's been a lot of gaming conversation happening on Twitter this year using the hashtag The Game Awards. And to celebrate, Twitter decided to create their first Twitter Gaming Award. You, the fans, voted for the best conversation. And the winner out of all the big things that happened this year was Spider Man's PS4 photo mode. So you can go to Twitter Gaming now to see the announcement video of that winner. And of course, tweet up a storm all night about the Game Awards. There's some big news breaking that you definitely will, will want to be talking about. Now, we're also back on Twitch this year. We've got an interactive extension that lets you predict the winners throughout the show. Uh, they're co-streaming, but there's also this interactive extension so you can go online to the Game Awards channel, pick your winners throughout the night, and at the end of the show, we'll share the final leaderboard and see who predicted the most awards correctly. Uh, all right, well, we've got some other awards to get to now. It's been an absolutely huge year for eSports, and coming up at the top of the hour in the main show, the best eSports player award will be presented by Omen by HP, but right now it's my honor to announce some of the other winners in many of the eSports categories that we added this year to the show. Uh, so for the best eSports team, here are the nominees. Cloud9 has won this, I think, the past two or three years. So we've got Astralis, Cloud9, Fnatic, London Spitfire, and OG. And the winner this year again is Cloud9. So congratulations to Jack and the entire organization at Cloud9. Now for the best esports game, the nominees this year were CSGO, Dota 2, Fortnite, League of Legends, Overwatch. All right, this is a cloud favorite, I guess. And the Game Award goes to Overwatch for the best esports game. I think that won last year as well. All right, next up, the best esports event. The nominees is a new category this year the E League Major Boston 2018, back in January. Evo 2018, this summer in Vegas. The League of Legends World Championship. The Overwatch League Grand Finals and the International 2018 up in Vancouver. And the League of Legends World Championship wins. Congratulations to LOL. All right, best eSports host. Those nominees were Alex Golden Boy Mendez, Alex Machine Richardson, Anders Bloom, I apologize, FJ Shocks Depotere, I know she's in Las Vegas tonight, and uh, Paul Red Eye Challenger. And the Game Award goes to Shocks, congratulations. Next up, the best eSports coach. Those nominees are Reaper, Paracel, Zonic, Dylan Falco, and Yamato Cannon, and YNK. And the best eSports coach as voted by the fans, Reaper, congratulations to him. Now, best esports moment. This is the top moment as voted on by the jury and fans. First up was C9's comeback win in triple overtime versus FaZe, G2 beating RNG, KT versus IG base race, and OG's massive upset of LGD, and Sonic Fox, who's a nominee for best esports player, side switch against Go One in DBZ. And the winner is C9's comeback win in triple OT versus FaZe. Congratulations again to C9. All right, well, we've got more esports coming up in the main show, but right now we've got another world premiere. This is a favorite game of mine from a couple of years ago, and they reached out to me a couple weeks ago and said, hey, we've got something more we're doing we want to share with you at the Game Awards. So check, that, check this out. I think you'll like it. This is a story of a video game called The Stanley Parable. You know the Stanley Parable, of course. After all, it was the video game sensation of 2013. 
Don't you remember all those awards we were nominated for? And this year's winner for Best Narrative is... The Last of Us. The Last of Us. The Last of Us. Papers, please. The Last of Us. Papers, please. The Last of Us. Yes, it was thrilling to be so unanimously recognized by our peers. Which is why we've locked the game's source code away, where it can never be touched by the greedy hand of capitalism. A pristine time capsule of perfect artistic integrity to be preserved for... Wait. What do you mean we never put the game on consoles? Of course we put it on consoles. We didn't. Excuse me a moment. Stanley! 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 Gotcha! Stanley, I've had a great idea. I want to add new endings and new content, new adventures for you. Won't it be fun? Oh, shush, of course it will. We'll package it up with the original game and we'll put it on consoles and everyone will buy it again because they're suckers. Come, come. Daddy needs a third swimming pool. What do you mean The Last of Us 2 is also coming out next year? All right, uh, Stanley Parable back again. Now is my honor to present the award for the best student game. Judged by an incredible panel, including Megan Ellison from Annapurna, Todd Howard, Genova Chen, and my good friend Hideo Kojima. Uh, the nominees are Combat 2018 from Norway, Dash Quasar from UC Santa Cruz, Jera from DigiPen in Spain, Life from ISART Digital in France, and Recharge from MIT and I'm happy to announce the best student game. And congratulations to all the students who are here with us in the audience. The best student game goes to Combat 2018 from Norway. Come on up, guys. How are you? This is yours, the first of many game awards, I hope. Yeah, absolutely. How does it feel? Congratulations. It feels amazing to be on the ledge for the student game. Thank you so much for having this award. It's really great. Congratulations to you guys, and hopefully your game will come out soon. We'll get to play it? Yeah, in August, hopefully. Okay. We're actually working on the game, and a new name, Tank and Rock. Okay, new <laughs> so name. So be sure no to check comment. that out. Yes. All right. Um, we'd involved. also like to thank uh, the jury and all the people who voted for us, and of course our team. We had Martin here on stage with me, and uh, Aurora and uh, Tom Esten back in Norway. Yeah. And uh, of course our school, Inland Norway, University of Applied Sciences, and of course uh, our mentor, Håvard uh, Vibeto. A special thank to you. Awesome. Well, congratulations, guys. We hope Thank to see so more of your game. The yeah. Student Game Award winner. We love doing that award. All right, we got another world premiere for you. This is from a small indie team of three guys who have been working on this game for the past five years. It's called Among Trees. And when I saw some footage of this, I said, we've got to share it with you. So check this out. All right, well now it's the top of the hour, and that means I think it's time for the Game Awards. Are you guys ready? Yeah. You know, this show is all about bringing everyone together to celebrate video games. Uh, when I started this show five years ago, my dream was to put competition aside and just come together to celebrate what we love, which is playing games, making games, and this is a moment that's been five years in the making for me. I can't believe it's about to happen. But to kick off the show, I couldn't think of anything better than this. Uh, please join me in welcoming, from Nintendo, Reggie fils -Aimé. From PlayStation, Sean Layden. And from Xbox, Phil Spencer. Lightning and the thunder.
Tonight at the Game Awards, we come together as a community to celebrate video games, the most compelling and immersive form of entertainment in the world. As an industry, we are most powerful when we come together, united by our common love for the art form of games. We join with the viewers and gamers around the globe to celebrate creativity, innovation, and the role that video games play in popular culture. Together, we will continue to invite new voices, creators, and players into our worlds, because when everybody plays, we all win. Because when we see the strength of a united gaming community, we remember that we've never seen a challenge that you can't defeat. We're united in our commitment to leading and pushing this industry forward with new games, new experiences, and new ways for everyone to play. Good luck to all the nominees. And congratulations to all the winners. And enjoy the Game Awards. Jeff, take it away. Thank you so much, guys. Red, G, Sean, and Phil together on stage. It's what this show is all about. Uh, we have an amazing show ahead for you guys, and we are going to kick things off with an incredible performance by the Game Awards Orchestra, conducted by our amazing musical director, Lauren Balf, featuring the legendary Hans Zimmer and Harry Gregson Williams. And they will be joined by a nominee tonight, Lena Rain and Sarah Schachner. They are premiering our brand new theme for the Game Awards. I can't believe it. Enjoy the show. the creator of the Game Awards, Jeff Keighley. Amazing! How about that? The Game Awards Orchestra, Hans Zimmer, Harry Gregson Williams, Lauren Balfe with Sarah and Lena. What an amazing start to the show. Welcome to the Game Awards, everybody. Wow, this is so cool. And we are live around the world on over 45 platforms, and tonight, Millions of people around the world are coming together to do one thing, which is celebrate the video games that we love. So thank you all for joining me, and thank you. We've got an amazing show for you. We've got a show filled with, of course, awards, some new game announcements, many things that you've been rumored online may happen tonight, and we've had an amazing year for games. So let's get right to the show with our first big award of the night. To present our first award, he's a mega popular YouTuber, and she's a Twitch streamer nominated tonight for Content Creator of the Year. Please welcome Jacksepticeye and Pokimane. We're pretty 
lucky in that we're able to play games for a living. And so to all the developers here and watching around the world, thank you for doing what you do and making the games that we love. Yes, thank you. We're here to present the award for Best Narrative. These are the games whose stories captivated us with complex characters, surprising twists, and profound philosophical ideas. Here are the nominees. Best Narrative. I didn't choose to be different. To betray my own kind. I didn't choose to start the war. You did. The road ahead is long and unforgiving. No place for a boy. You must be a warrior. This is a nightmare. I know who you are and what you did. Daniel, go! What you and your brother have is the most important thing. The city is in danger. It needs our help. Anyone left in New York who doesn't want me dead? Be careful out there. This is nasty country. And the Game Award goes to Red Dead Redemption 2. It's amazing. Thank you from the entire team at Rockstar to all our fans, everyone who voted for us. Um, we love telling stories just as much as we love creating worlds, and it's been incredible seeing people connect to the game and go on Arthur's journey for themselves. Um, I'd li like to thank our amazing cast. They brought this to life in ways we didn't even imagine. And you can see tonight and across this category, it's been an outstanding year for games and storytelling, and there's still so far we can take it. So uh, on to the next one. Thank you very much. Throughout the night, we're going to take a look at the future of games with world premieres. Now, some of them you've probably heard of, and some of them you definitely haven't. We've got some good surprises tonight, and this is one of those that no one is going to see coming. Enjoy. Idiots. Your stupidity may have doomed the universe. Wouldn't be the first time, sweetheart. All who oppose our master shall fall. Mankind had its chance to rule Avengers. spider man Like to see it try, Scrappy. When the Black Order unites, death always prevails. If we want to survive here, we do it as a team. I'll be waiting here for you. Please welcome an actor and the writer-director of the film Mid-90s. Here's Jonah Hill. Shout out to Woody Jackson, the best composer in the world. I am honored to be here tonight to introduce someone who has truly changed gaming forever. 
someone who, in his own words, just wanted to make killer games with his friends and ended up making some of the world's most memorable titles. 30 years ago, he and his friends started with nothing. They worked in a small basement under a nurse's call center. Over the years, Greg Thomas and his team at Visual Concepts created iconic games by following a simple recipe. Hard work, strong ideas, and a passionate team. And that rep uh, recipe gave us NBA 2K. Greg, yeah, give it up. Um, <laughs> Greg is a humble giant, but his forward thinking, passion, and dedication to excellence has made his name known throughout the industry. Let's take a look back at his highlight reel. Industry icon. What's the hair, man? This is the NFL on the Sega Sports Network. Let's see if they can take care of business. Welcome, everybody, to the ESPN Halftime Show. It's showtime. He scores. It is in the net. Oh, no, that's how you blow out the speakers, baby. 2K Sports Major League Baseball action. Fastball struck in a home play. Home run. If you smash, could this be his moment? The NBA right here on 2K Sports. The greatest basketball game in the world. This game bigger than the court. And that's what This king is far from finished. Very cool. I am honored to introduce the 2018 industry icon, the legend, the myth, the goat, Mr. Greg Thomas. Thank you, Jonah. It's such an honor to be introduced by you. Seeing a compilation of the games that we've created over the last 30 years is also very humbling. For anyone who knows me, you know I've shied away from the spotlight. I'm not very comfortable being the center of attention. This has never been about making a name for myself. It's always been about making great games. But this is an incredible honor. First, I need to thank my beautiful wife and family for allowing me to do everything I've always loved to do. There have been many sacrifices, and they have been patient, loyal, and understanding through it all. I love you all very much. Thank you. And none of this would be possible without my business partner and co-founder, Scott Patterson, and my brother and the leader of the NBA 2K team, Jeff Thomas. I'd love for you guys to join me on stage. We've been together since the very beginning, and we've always shared the same values and passions when it comes to making games. We never imagined that over the years, visual concepts would grow to where we are today, with six worldwide studios and more than 350 employees. The philosophy has never changed. It's all family to me. I also want to thank David Ismailer, Carl Sladoff, and Strauss Zelnick from 2K and Take Two for believing in me and giving us the freedom to make games our way. And I, and I owe everything to my management team. This team has been together 
for a long time. The culture of the company has always been about believing in our people. It's because we love working together and we all believe in the same things. And I need to thank all of their families as well for supporting us and putting up with us. That can't be easy. Thank you so much. Without these people, there is no Greg Thomas receiving an award. There is no visual concepts. They are the real icons, and I share this award with them. Thank you very much. Congratulations, Greg. Now, tonight, the Game Awards and Facebook Gaming are recognizing global gaming citizens, people who are enriching the lives of others around the world through video games. We're going to tell some stories tonight of three people that I think you should meet and hear their stories, and I'm so proud to have these in the Game Awards. First up, Stephen Spawn from Able Gamers. Please take a look at his story. I don't know how I got where I am or what I'm doing. All I wanted to do was figure out how to play video games, and along the way, I figured out that I could help other people play video games too. I love that tag team, you did it. <laughs> when I was coming out of high school, I went to my guidance counselor to figure out what's next in life for me. They sat across the table from me, and they told me that I should go home and have fun with my remaining years because I'm going to die soon anyway. They told me to just go home and die. At the time, it kicked me down. But now, it's a memory that I look back on, and I realize that you can be disabled, you can be productive, you can be a valuable, contributing member of society, and you can change the world by doing a few things along the way that no one else is willing to do. I'm proud to be one of the leaders of Able Gamers in helping people with disabilities be able to conquer the challenges of getting back into playing video games. My mission is to enable people to use technology to reach out, to connect with a world that was otherwise inaccessible. They're able to have a greater quality of life by having people in their lives. Amazing. Steven, you rock. Three years ago, Psyonix burst onto the scene, and rocket-powered soccer has never been the same with more than 52 million players worldwide. It's a two-time winner at the Game Awards, and now Rocket League is revealing their latest DLC right here. Check it out. Rosa Salazar hand out the award for best performance. And later, more surprise game announcements and musical performances. This is the Game Awards 2018. Wake up, wake up. The time has come for paths to be beat and treasures won and impossible tales to be sung. As we take on our foes, together as one, till we send our fears back to where they came from. Wake up, wake up, the time has come. Smash Brothers Ultimate, coming 
soon. In fact, we're hours away, baby. All right, now we've got an exclusive action-packed clip from the new film Alita Battle Angel, directed by Robert Rodriguez and produced by James Cameron. And coming to theaters February 14th. Check this out. Alita, run! My God. Rip that flea! Watch her die. From the upcoming film, Alita Battle Angel, please welcome Rosa Salazar and two-time Academy Award winner, Christoph Waltz. To deliver a powerful game performance, you must humanize a digital puppet made of polygons and textures. In a sense, the actor plays the surrogate for their audience, their entry point into the game's world and personalities. <laughs> then, unlike any medium, the connection continues and strengthens when the player controls that very character with an analog stick. <laughs> I prefer mouse and keyboard. I'm not gonna do this with you. <laughs> we're, we're... Look, I mean, aim assist is just home. Okay. <laughs> These are the nominees for best performance. Best performance. For me, it was strong female characters that I happen to know. Join us in battle. All right, Spartan. I'll fight with you. I didn't choose to be different, to betray my own kind. You're accused of murder. Follow orders. Do you have anything to say in your defense? To be effective in combat, a warrior must not feel for his enemy. So I'm a man now, like you? We are not men. We are more than that. You're Spider-Man. Look, next time, leave the fighting to the pros. Okay, but what if there aren't any around? <laughs> Good one. This whole thing is pretty much done. We're more ghosts than people. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. Okay. And the game award goes to... Roger Clark as Arthur Morgan, Red Dead Redemption 2. This is the part where words that make sense are supposed to come out of my mouth. <laughs> Thank you. I humbly accept this honor, especially in light of the amazing performances of my fellow nominees. Uh, to share this moment in time with all of you, a moment in time which is clearly becoming the advent of a golden age of this medium. I gotta thank my wife, Molly. I love you, Molly. For five years, she watched me come home from long days of performance capture and re kindly reminded me to check Arthur at the door, put the kids to bed. That reminds me, Colin and Rory, go to bed. Uh, I would also like to thank Rockstar Games for the amazing opportunity. The faith that they put in me. Thank you, thank you all. This is an amazing moment! He 
was the narrative director for one of the biggest games in Ubisoft history, Far Cry 5, and he's here right now to unveil the next chapter. Please welcome John Sebastian DeCant. Hello, everyone. As you may remember, Far Cry 5 ended uh, with nukes dropping on Montana. And this marked the very beginning of a brand new world. Because yes, we're finally bringing the post-apocalypse to Far Cry. And as the creative director of this new project, it is my absolute pleasure to reveal to you Far Cry New Dawn. just kids when the bombs dropped and the world went to shit they said it was supposed to be the end of everything but for us <laughs> it was just the beginning surviving nah we were better than that this new world had a lot to give and we took it all that's how we came out on top. That's how we got here. That's how we found you. Listen here, rabbits. You need to understand something. The only currency left in this world is power. We're going to take everything from you, starting with your home. And if we can't take it, we'll break it. Far Cry New Dawn. Now tonight, you can also find special offers on all our nominated games across Xbox Live, and Nintendo eShop, Steam, and the PlayStation Store. So uh, make sure to check your favorite place to get games for some special offers on nominees and more. Right now, we've got another world premiere. Check this out. Think you're talking to nobody gets out of my domain whether alive or dead you wish to learn the hard way fine then go get out don't let me stop you 
Wasn't planning on it, father. go get killed again. Death is your only family. Death and I. Congratulations, the guys from Supergiant. That is an early access title. They're going to be updating over time, and it's available tonight, right now, on the Epic Games Store. So congratulations, Greg Amir, and the entire team there at Supergiant. I am here now with my friend Patrice Desilets, the designer behind Assassin's Creed, famously, and uh, you're working on a new project called Ancestors, a humankind odyssey. Patrice, tell us about this game. You're right, Jeff. First, uh, thank you for having me. Of it's course. It's quite an honor for I'm me to be here. here. Uh, thank you. So yes, I'm working on Ancestors, the Humankind Odyssey. It is a single-player, open-world, exploration, survival game. It is set in Africa, starting 10 million years ago, where basically players will play from the last common ancestors of all the big apes up to Lucy, the famous Australopithecus. Okay, that's, that's a lot of game there. Uh, tell us a bit about uh, where you're at in this game and what we're going to see tonight, because you're going to show us some gameplay, right? Oh, totally, totally. So this game is, that, is done by Panache Digital Games, my new studio back in Montreal. 30 people. Hi, everyone. And tonight I'm going to show four clips of actual gameplay, me playing last week. Okay, this and is real. This Patrice is real. on the sticks. Exactly, All right. exactly. And yes. if people like what they see, they can go on GameSpot and see another 20 minutes of me playing all the right. very beginning of the game after the show. All right, you're showing it all. Here it is, Ancestors, a humankind odyssey. Thank you, Patrice. My Appreciate pleasure. It.
Games play best on Xbox One. Girls Make Games is a program that inspires girls to make games. It teaches them the tools that they need to get from start where they know nothing to get to a full developed prototype in three weeks. My favorite part about camp, doing the designing for the, how the platform is. My experience with GMG has given me the confidence to pursue other writing and video game projects. The whole mission is just amazing. To really inspire young girls to learn to make games and really get the female perspective and voice in games. We have so much more Game Awards to come right now. Here's another world premiere. That's your first look at Scavengers, and I'm now here with Josh Holmes from Midwinter. Josh, uh, tell us a bit about uh, your studio. Yeah, well, so Midwinter's uh, a new studio up in Seattle, Washington. Um, we're a relatively small team. We're just over 20 people. Uh, many of us come from AAA background working on titles like Halo and Battlefield, and this is our first game as a new studio. All right, so Scavengers, we got a tease of sort of the world there, some of the characters. What kind of game is it? So Scavengers is a survival shooter coopetition. It's, uh, it's a game where teams need to cooperate to survive, but compete to win. 
Um, so what we're doing is we're taking all of the aspects of a, of a survival game and sort of condensing that into a replayable session-based multiplayer experience. Awesome. All right. And uh, if people want to learn more, saw a little tag there to sign up, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, for us it's, it's so important to have players have a voice in shaping the game, and, and so starting in 2019, we're gonna be having play tests, and people can go right now, go to scavengersgame.com, sign up, and you'll be among the first to play scavengers in 2019. Awesome, all right, well, thank you so much for putting that together. It's an amazing uh, world premiere. First look at uh, scavengers, Josh. Uh, sign up for that now. All right, it's now time to present our next award, and please welcome the front man from Panic at the Disco to do it, Brendan Yuri. I, love you. Um, I, I just want to say what an honor it is to be here, first off. And secondly, uh, I have to apologize because I was supposed to write something last night, but I stayed up till 5 a.m. playing season seven of Fortnite. So I apologize. Um, oh, wait, never mind. They wrote it for me. Okay. Personally, as a musician, <laughs> I'm constantly amazed by the skills of the composers in this industry. They make tracks that elevate all the action and tension and set the perfect mood. Here are the nominees. Best Score Music, presented by Spotify. goes to Red Dead Redemption 2 expecting it, but thanks a lot. Um, thanks to my wife, Sharon Jackson, my two daughters, Georgia Washington Jackson and Theodora Roosevelt Jackson, <laughs> to make sure I get that out. Um, I, they've been in all the games, their heartbeats, since the past 10 years, so I really appreciate my family and use them appropriately. Um, <laughs> I'm not a comedian, but I try to play one sometimes. Um, Rockstar? my surrogate family, thank you so much. And this guy came in and, and did the most beautiful, sad music. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, my brother. I can add my to Daniel and Woody. And speaking of score and soundtrack, I uh, want to let you know I've got a new podcast series with Spotify, six episodes called Score Points, where I actually went behind the scenes and interviewed a lot of the composers nominated there, including uh, Woody about Red Dead Redemption 2, Bear about God of War, John about Spider-Man, Lena about uh, Celeste, so Lauren about FIFA, so lots of great stuff. Uh, make sure to check that out tonight on Spotify. It's called Score Points. Uh, right now, I'd like to recognize some other winners tonight in other major categories. The best audio design presented by Dolby. And these are the nominees in that category. Call of Duty Black Ops 4, Forza Horizon 4, God of War, Marvel's Spider-Man, and Red Dead Redemption 2. And the game award for best audio design goes to Red Dead Redemption 2. It's having a pretty good night. Uh, all right, for best art direction, the nominees in this craft category are Assassin's Creed Odyssey, God of War, Octopath Traveler, Red Dead Redemption 2, 
and Return of the Obra Den. And the winner is Return of the Obra Den. Congratulations to Lucas Pope, who I know is here tonight. Next up, the category of Best Mobile Game. And those nominees are Donut County, Florence, Fortnite, PUBG Mobile, and Reigns Game of Thrones. And the Game Award for Best Mobile Game goes to Florence. Congratulations to Mountains and Annapurna. All right, Best VR AR Game. Those nominees are Astrobot Rescue Mission, Beat Saber, Firewall Zero Hour, Moss, and Tetris Effect. And Astrobot Rescue Mission is the winner for Best VR AR Game. Congratulations. Now on Twitch, everyone is voting right now to select who they think is going to win in major categories. Content Creator of the Year is coming up. And let's see what the Twitch poll is predicting. It looks like people are predicting that Ninja is going to win that one with 49% of the vote. We'll find out. Ninja's in the house among with many other content creators. All right, well, next up, Warframe. It's had its biggest year yet. It just launched Fortuna, the newest open world expansion on PC, and it's coming to Xbox and PS4 on December 10th. That's some breaking news. And for the first time ever, you can play Warframe anywhere on the Switch. Here's a look at Warframe for Nintendo Switch. I thought I knew why I came here. I saw it. You set the apocalypse in motion. I won't let that happen. If you had the power to alter the course of humanity, what would you do?
I'm here with Matt Cote, who is the game director for Dead by Daylight. We just saw that. Matt, welcome to the Game Awards. Thank, Thank you very much. It's such an honor to be here. It's great to have you. Lots of Canadian Montreal teams up here, which I love to see my home country, Canada. I hear you've got some uh, big plans for the game, right? It's true. I mean, we, we plan to keep this game alive for at least the next five years and to show our dedication, essentially, tonight we're announcing the dedicated servers are coming to Dead by Daylight this summer. Okay, summer 2019. Yep. Uh, and I also want to show the trailer for the very first time for our new chapter coming to Dead by Daylight, Darkness Among Us. Okay, let's take a look at that. Another world premiere. Thanks so much, Matt. Appreciate it. I'm back here now with Casey Hudson, the general manager at BioWare, another Canadian company. It's the That's Canada right. section. That's right. Um, all right, well, you're almost done with Anthem, Casey. Uh, tell us where are you at? It's coming early next year, right? Yeah, it's coming out in February. And so we've got, uh, you know, Mark Dara and the team are doing an incredible job finishing it up. It's almost done. And uh, yeah, we're super happy to be here and be able to show a little bit more of the game tonight. Yeah, so what are we going to see tonight from the game? Well, so a lot of what we've shown so far is the gameplay. It's super fun. You're basically, you know, an armored superhero in a fantasy setting. And we've shown a lot of that, but we haven't really let people in on what the story is and the characters and things like that. But, you know, like a great Bioware game, we're building out a whole world of, of story and things for you to discover and characters to meet. So we're going to start letting you in on a little bit more of that. Well, I know the, the entire team is working very hard on this, right? Yeah, I mean, we've got a big team working on it, but we've got a few projects at BioWare, so it's not the only thing that we're working on. And uh, so we do have a few surprises left. Okay, but Anthem always, right now. Anthem right now, and okay. uh, always thinking about our next thing. All right, I tried. All right, uh, here's a look at Anthem. Check it out. I have seen the power of the Anthem. Destroy entire civilizations. You have no idea what the Heart of Rage can do to that person. I feel a new power in the world. It's calling me. For generations, our people struggle just to survive. Heading out. Let's go! The javelins allowed us to fight back the chaos. <laughs> protected our families, loved ones. Remember, we're a team. I'm right there with you. It's a freelancer job. Always has been. But the anthem still rages. And walls can only do so much. But with the power of the anthem at my fingertips, I will end all this needless suffering. Run!
The Game Awards continues. Everybody is here tonight, including Crash Bandicoot. What's going on, Jack? CB in the house. What are you doing here? Not much, man. Just thought uh, you deserved a trophy of your own. Uh, well, thank you very much, Crash. Uh, this is the standard issue Crash crate. Should I, should I, how do I open this thing? I think uh, maybe give it a good spin. That should do it. Good. Yeah, no, just run I, into I, I it. Got, I got a long show to host. I'm just going to open it very professionally here okay. on Game that's, of the Biggest yeah, Night. That's good. That's good. Uh, Oh wow, what's what's this? This this kind of looks familiar. Doesn't now. Booyah, grandma. Booyah. Let's check out the world premiere. They're two of the voices from God of War. Please welcome Sonny Soljic and Christopher Judge. Games have always had a strong sense of community. I remember when I was a kid, younger, uh, gathering around someone at the arcade who was close to breaking a high score. But I'm blown away by how much bigger that community is in today's connected age. Millions of people around the world aren't just playing games they love. They're watching their favorite online personality stream for hours at a time. These are the nominees for the content creator of the year. Content Creator of the Year. Oh my God! <laughs> He's jumping. <laughs> there we go. Welcome to the stream. Oh, punch myself. It's something that I enjoy, and being able to bring joy to others, doing something that you enjoy, is a miracle. Here we go. You're talking about this. And the Game Award goes to... Read it, boy. The award goes to Ninja. I'm not gonna lie, this is a, an incredible honor. Uh, I would first off just like to thank my lovely wife, Jessica, who's joining me today, um, and my family who's supported me my entire life. They've always let me play video games uh, as long as I was just a little bit more active outside. So, um, <laughs> but you know, this has just been an incredible year for gaming and video games, uh, and I'm just honestly blessed to be in the position that I'm in, to have won this award and to bring joy to all the people who who love watching video games. So, I mean, I think it's crazy that every single person in this room and every single person watching 
it's all because of video games. So, uh, I mean, here's to another incredible year, 2019. Thank you guys so much, I appreciate it. From Obsidian, please welcome the creator and game designer of Fallout. Here are Tim Kaine and Leonard Boyarski. It's hard to believe it's been 20 years since we made Fallout and 13 years since we last worked together at Troika. Yeah, and it's great to be reunited on a new single player RPG. We're very excited to reveal our brand new game and our brand new universe, The Outer Worlds. We hope you enjoy it. Oh, wait, uh, hold on a second. Uh, you weren't supposed to say that, remember? Yeah. Um, what we're supposed to say is by watching this trailer, you are legally obligated to enjoy it. Thank you. Thank you. Question first, are you feeling anything that can be construed as explosive cell death? No? Wonderful. Let's get started. Welcome to the edge of the galaxy, the frontier of space. Well, at least it was until the corporations bought it, branded it, and started selling it at ludicrously inflated prices. And the rest of your fellow settlers? Abandoned on the edge of the colony. I'd save them myself, but the board's got a bounty on my head. So, that's why I thawed you out. You appear capable. Look, I get it. Taking on the corporation has left us with two choices, bad and worse. But you have to choose. And you have to choose now. You know you didn't have to shoot either one, right? But it's fine, I guess. You just keep being you. Choices not responsible for any feeling of vertigo, wonder, or hunger you may have experienced while watching this advertisement. All right, that's the brand new title from Obsidian. Thanks for that, and check out this.
Now here with Jesse Houston, the CEO of Phoenix Labs. A couple years ago, you were with us announcing this game, Jesse, and now you're back. We sure are, and it's been uh, quite a couple of years. Um, and you know, we're super excited to not only talk about uh, the last couple of years, but also the future. And you know, it's really awesome coming into the future and being able to see in April, rather, uh, and launch the game uh, on Xbox and PS4 and the Epic platform. Um, you know, from the get-go. Dauntless has always been about bringing players together uh, with your friends and killing big behemoths. And, uh, you know, those platforms are going to be kind of the next big journey for us. Yeah, and tonight you got something launching too, right? We sure do. So it's our biggest content expansion pack, Frostfall. Drops today uh, on PC at PlayDauntless.com. All right, well, check it out. Play Dauntless. Thank you very much, Thanks, Jesse. Jeff. Another Canadian company. All right, we'll be right back after this. When I was growing up, I didn't see any women doing a lot of bigger things in my life. There are not much expectation from girls, or even the girls' education is not like the, like the top priority. I'm from a very humble background. It was difficult for me to pursue this, to make money, to be able to afford the private school so that I can go and study computer science. Getting education, it's not about just getting degree. It's actually getting exposure to the world. You can't be if you can't see. That's what we are trying to do, is give them an inspiration. Pixel Art Games Academy is a training academy for video game development. Our main focus is actually empowering game developers and creative artists to be able to make their own game ideas. This is my biggest dream. I want people to see what kind of ideas, what kind of creative people we have in Pakistan. Coming up, Joel McHale recognizes best esports player and a musical performance of Devil Trigger. And later, an exciting announcement from Fortnite. This is the Game Awards. I hope you have the stamina, because the game's about to be in stock, and it's almost time! Welcome to my store. It's one not bound by walls. Or limited by inventory. Or restricted by time. The only rule here is to untether your imagination and unleash it on the world. You won't believe what's in store. PlayStation. Tonight, we've got some of the biggest franchises in the world unveiling their new games. We've also got some smaller studios sharing their projects. This is another one of those surprises. Enjoy.
I can't believe you had me back. Uh, <laughs> when I was uh, asked to present the award for best esports player, I did not hesitate. Uh, video games have brought me and my sons closer together. Every morning, they fire up Shocker, Fortnite, and uh, their eyes light up with the promise of a new day. Then they demand my credit card information <laughs> to purchase a Moisty Merman skin and a guiding glow axe. <laughs> It seems like only yesterday they were forcing me to buy a Rainbow Rider and Astro Backblade. Huh, they grow up so fast. Anyway, I'm okay. Uh, Esports continue to grow exponentially every year with sold out arena tournaments all over the world and millions of dollars on the line. This award recognizes the most dominant athlete in esports. Whomever wins this is basically the LeBron James of sitting. It's amazing. Here are the nominees. Best Esports Player. Presented by Omen by HP. It doesn't matter what fighting game he's playing. This kid can do it, can take it all. Sonic Fox the Chip. Oh! Kido! He is your champion. What a year for the best player in the world. That was too far back. That is stunning from Simple. Oh, Troy Duck, he's looking dangerous. From downtown. No oh, style from Zodak. Okay, and the game award goes to Sonic Fox, everybody. Wow, <laughs> I really won this shit. Oh my God. <laughs> hey, look, Mom. <laughs> uh, I guess I want to say this is a big honor. Uh, I kind of just really, really enjoy playing video games competitively. Um, I've never really, really done it for the fame. I kind of just enjoy the rush of like beating people up, you know? Like, <laughs> I don't know, like even like, uh, I'm sure you guys heard the story of uh, when I won the IPS finale. The other thing I don't do this for is for the money. It's because when uh, my best friend, one of my, my best friend, one of my closest friends, oh my god, I'm nervous. Uh, his dad had cancer, and after I won, well, before I even like, uh, did the match, I told him whether I win or lose, I'm going to be donating at least like 10K of the prize winning to his father for his stage three cancer. And I hope it works out for him. Um, and he really, really. He's <laughs> <laughs> so nervous. <laughs> I've never been this nervous. This is more scary than I want Evo. Um, but I mean, I guess I, <laughs> I never really. I had always just done it just to make new friends and bonds in the community. So um, I guess for now, I want to give a shout out to obviously the team that's helped me do all the, all the way Echo Fox. I want to give a shout out to. Uh, um, all my friends back at home, my best friend, the Kill Sage, uh, he's helped me out so much through life. Um, McKenna and Black, the, gang, the goons back at home, gang, gang. Um, <laughs> um, uh, as you guys also may know or may not know, um, I'm also super gay, so I mean, uh, I want to give a shout out. <laughs> so, so, 
I want to give a super shout out to all my LGBTQ plus friends that have always helped me through life. Um, obviously, I'm a furry, so shout out to the furries. I've been any furries in Gamera year. <laughs> yeah. Um, guess all I gotta really say is that I'm gay, black, a furry, pretty much everything a Republican hates, and <laughs> the best esports player of the whole year, I guess. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Very fun. All right. I am here with Dave Kerr, the world art director at PUBG Corporation. Uh, Dave, why don't you tell us about the, uh, the new map besides uh, the new terrain people can get to play tonight. What else? All right. So it's called Vikendi. It's our first six by six map, which is the sweet spot between the chaos of Sanic and the tactics of Erangel. It's also a snow map, which means you leave footprints. Players can track you, you can track them. Hunter becomes the hunted. Wow. Uh, what about new gear this time around? Absolutely, we're gonna have the G36C assault rifle and a very fast, very new badass snowmobile to explore the map in. Okay, snowmobile, and we're gonna get to like jump that snowmobile tonight because you're putting on the test servers after the show? Uh, yeah, it's the best news, it's ready tonight. Wow. PC test servers, and it's gonna be on Xbox One and PlayStation 4 in January. All right, so jump on Steam tonight for that. Uh, and also the PS4 version hits tomorrow, right? Yeah, tomorrow, December 7th, PlayStation. We're super excited to join the PlayStation community. All of our new PS4 players are going to receive an exclusive parachute. And finally, it's your last chance to pre-order, which will grant the Nathan Drake Desert outfit from the Uncharted series and Ellie's backpack from The Last of Us. Get it! All right, fantastic, Dave. Really appreciate it. PUBG, great to have you back with us again. All right. Now I'd like to introduce our next presenters. They're members of a Grammy award-winning band that I love personally from Weezer. Please welcome Brian Bell and Rivers Cuomo. What's up? Just a warning, things are about to get heavy. If you got any earplugs, right now I'd like you to throw them away. Just toss them anywhere. Also, if you have any religious artifacts, put those away. Just tuck them under your seats, because we're about to summon some dark spirits. Here's the composer of Devil May Cry 5, Casey Edwards, with vocals by Allie Edwards, performing Devil Trigger.
All right, there it was, Devil Trigger, and that's you wanted it. Over the last three years, nearly 20 million players have tamed, trained, and ridden dinosaurs in the epic arc Survival Evolved. Tonight, the creators are unveiling their new adventure, a gigantic world of exploration and conquest. Take a look. I'm here with Jeremy and Jesse from Wildcard Studios. Guys, uh, congratulations on the announcement tonight. Coming next week, what exactly is Atlas? Well, Atlas is a massive open world survival MMO for 40,000 concurrent players in the same environment. It's a game about building an armada, claiming territory, forming an empire, and uh, ultimately dominating the entire globe. It's a huge scale. How, how big is the map? It's really big. The Atlas world is 1,200 times the size of a single ARC server. And our team has spent countless hours handcrafting a beautiful place to play in with biomes from uh, tropics to tundra, desert, polar regions. And we've filled it with amazing creatures. Everything from things you would expect, like livestock, to crazy mythological creatures that are guarding the secrets of an ancient civilization. There's so much fun stuff to see and do in Atlas, and it's just going to be awesome to engage in. Amazing. Well, uh, coming to PC, any word coming to console yet? Alice will be coming to console next year to Xbox with the Xbox Game Preview Program. We got great feedback from the fans on ARC for uh, Game Preview, and we're excited to bring it first to Xbox next year. Awesome. All right. Well, thanks, guys. I know lots of work ahead in the week, uh, week ahead to launch it. We really appreciate it. Uh, we've also got uh, our Twitch poll continuing. Um, so the award for best independent game, people have been voting on that. That's coming up in the show. And right now, Twitch is saying that they think Dead Cells is going to take that with 39% uh, of the vote. So we'll find out if they're right when we come back. On the way, a world premiere you won't want to miss. Then Ninja and Pepe the King Prawn present the award for best independent game. And later, we celebrate the music of Red Dead Redemption 2. Don't stop streaming, this is the Game Awards.
to step it up, Terry Crews. Your suit game needs to be tight. <laughs> Look at me, man. Come on, yeah. Tighter. <laughs> Really? Oh, oh my man. <laughs> Dress to kill. <laughs> <laughs> Included day one with Xbox Game Pass. Join today. The ESO community has been nothing but kind and supportive. Everyone gets behind each other. It's very touching to see. It is great for us, not, not only for the game, but for us as a race. So in the television series that I'm currently working on, The Outpost, I play a knight captain. And in Elder Scrolls Online, I play a magic warden. I'm Rob Whitaker, UFC middleweight champion, and I play an Imperial tank in Elder Scrolls Online. I'm Chris Keeley, and I play a red guard, stamina dragon knight in Elder Scrolls Online, even though my brother has been far too busy to play with me recently. Welcome back to the Game Awards. We have so much more show coming for you. Lots of new games, lots of awards. And right now, I'd like to announce some of the other award winners across some other categories. Uh, the nominees for our best debut indie game. This is recognizing a small studio making its first project. The nominees were Donut County, Florence, Moss, The Messenger, Yoku's Island Express, and the Game Award goes to The Messenger. Congratulations. Also a Canadian studio. There's something going on here. Uh, all right, next up, best fighting game. And those nominees this year are Blaze Blue, Dragon Ball Fighters, Soul Calibur VI, Street Fighter V Arcade Edition, and the winner for best fighting game, Dragon Ball Fighters. A crowd favorite. For best family game, the nominees this year are Mario Tennis Aces, Nintendo Labo, Overcooked 2, Starlink Battle for Atlas, and Super Mario Party. And the game award, goes to Overcooked 2. Another genre category for best strategy game. Those nominees, The Banner Saga 3, Battletech, Frostpunk, Into the Breach, and Valkyria Chronicles 4. And the winner for best strategy game, Into the Breach. Congratulations, Subset Games. All right, well, we've got a lot more show ahead for you tonight, and uh, we've got the big awards, we've got best game direction, game of the year, and so much more, but right now, it's time to look at another game announcement world premiere. Congratulations, my friend, on the big win. Thank you, thank That's you, thank incredible. you. Hey, uh, let me get a selfie. Come on. Okay. See? Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, yeah we, that's a good selfie, yeah. my friend. Did you, did you just say shel shelfie? See, see, it's a crustacean thing. Uh, oh. oh, no, 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 that wasn't a good one. We didn't get a good one. My eyes were closed. Say Manchego. Manchego? <laughs> uh, 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 uh. That's a good one, that's a good one. Oh, I'm gonna get some big V-Bucks for this, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, uh, that's a fork knife reference. Uh, uh, did you say fork knife? It's, uh, it's, it's actually pronounced Fortnite. 
No, I don't think so. No, no, but believe me, definitely, I, I, I know. It's, it's, it's Fortnite, right, guys? It's Fortnite. Yeah. Well, I hate to disagree with everyone, but you're wrong. <laughs> Fortnite makes no sense. Uh, Fortnite is only two weeks, and I know I've spent a lot more time than two weeks playing this game. <laughs> <laughs> Say sangria! Uh, sangria? Uh, all right. You know, ah, that's a good one. Look, look, we're supposed to be presenting uh, the award for best independent game. Can we... Can we do that, please? Sure, do what you gotta do. I'm gonna take some selfies. Oh, okay, all right. This award is for the best game made outside of the AAA system. Ooh, this is a good one. Yeah. Oh, oh, did you say AAA? Yeah, Ooh, AAA. It's amazing what they do without batteries these days. <laughs> and here are the nominees. Ooh, nominees. Best independent game. And the award goes to... No, ninja, ninja, ninja. Hold on, my friend. Let's get one more big shelfie with the big crowd in the background, okay? okay. Everybody, get crazy, scream, shelfie! Shelfie! <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Okay, my friend, continue, please. All right, and now the best independent game goes to... I'll have to do this alone. <gasps> it's hard. Whoop. The award goes to Celeste. Tonight, Celeste also wins the Games for Impact Award. Oh, man. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> oh. uh, there's a few team members who couldn't be here tonight, uh, and I know they're watching, so Gabby and... Uh, Sven and uh, the Power Up guys, uh, we love you and we wish you were here. Um, and <laughs> uh, we're nothing without our support network, so thanks to like our, our partners and our family and our friends who are amazing. And I'm pretty sure my parents account my parents account for like half of our votes. So <laughs> hi, mom and dad, I love you. Uh, so uh, we we got like completely lost in the work of making this game. And uh, <laughs> we kind of forgot that people would eventually play it. So the reception has just been like really overwhelming. Um, and man, my heart is beating so fast. <laughs> I'm like at a loss for things to say all year about the reception. Uh, so there is one thing I want to say, though. Um, if Celeste has helped you come to terms with uh, mental illness, I just want to say that uh, <laughs> you deserve credit for that. Uh, that change came from inside of you, and uh, you're capable of a lot more. Thank you.
All right, we got much more show to come. We got a Muppet on the show finally, so I'm very personally happy. Pepe, thank you for joining us. All right, tonight you can find special offers on all the nominated games across Xbox, Nintendo eShop, Steam, and PlayStation Store, so make sure to check out those offers tonight uh, and over the next few days. Of course, uh, we are trending number one worldwide on Twitter. I want to thank everyone for talking about the show. You can see some of these amazing tweets, everyone talking about all things Game Awards right now. Very exciting stuff. All right. Uh, there's another game launching tonight. It's Human Head's new game, Survived By. It's launching right now on Steam. You can play now in early access, and it's published by the folks at Digital Extremes, developers of Warframe. Here's a first look at Survived By. Something dark has emerged from the depths of the earth, changing even the cute and cuddly into the damned and deadly. It is up to you to build your arsenal and set forth on an epic journey. It is now up to you and probably many more of your descendants, to set forth on an epic journey to defeat this spreading plague that sours our land. Team up with friends and tackle menacing foes. Or go it alone. Damn. Well, you can try. It's totally up to you. Join a massive online adventure to help rid the lands of this mysterious and nearly unstoppable force. Nearly unstoppable. There it is. Play for free and be among the first to help build the Heartlands into something your ancestors would be proud of. Survived by. Find it on Steam Early Access. What's up everybody, it's me, Melanie Mack here, and on most days you can catch me streaming some games, but today I wanted to hop in at the Game Awards to talk about vaping and the simple fact that if you vape, you are four times more likely to smoke cigarettes. Now, everybody knows that smoking cigarettes is extremely bad for you, but how vaping can lead to smoking cigarettes may not be as obvious. The amount of nicotine in just one jewel pod is the same as 20 cigarettes. To learn more, go to thetruth.com to join the cause to finish smoking for good. And enjoy the rest of the Game Awards. We have a new magic champion! You will know. And when you leave the stage and the lights, you won't have to tell anyone because they will already know. When you walk into a room, you will see it in their eyes. Hear their whispers. Feel their respect. Understand their fear. Your friends will know, and they will tell their friends. Your mom will tell other moms. Your little sister will know. Your twin brothers will know. So will their twin friends. Even your dog will know. Even me, Mixalot, I'll know. This game store owner will know, and so will these guys, and so will she, and the actual creator of Magic will also know. Because when you're the world's number one Magic player, the world will know. All right, I'm here with Elaine Chase, the vice president of esports for Magic the Gathering. Elaine, uh, some fun cameos in that piece. Uh, what will the world know? Tell us. So Jeff, I am so excited to be here tonight to announce Magic the Gathering's new esports and competitive gaming program. In 2019, we have $10 million in prize money on the line across digital and tabletop magic. Wow, all right, that's, that's a lot of money, a big, big prize. Uh, when is it gonna uh, start next year? It all kicks off in March at PAX East in Boston, where we're hosting a $1 million Mythic Invitational on MTG Arena. Okay, that's, that's a lot of money. Uh, how do people get on board if they want to jump in here? Oh, that's easy. Just download and start playing MTG Arena. Um, I've got something special for the audience tonight. We like special things. What do you have for us? If you use the code GAMEAWARDS, you'll receive an eSports starter kit with some awesome cards to play. 
Awesome. All right. Well, Elaine, thank you so much. It's great to have Magic part of the Game Awards. Have a great evening. Thank uh, you. We have a lot more show to come up uh, tonight. A winner tonight for a bunch of awards, Red Dead Redemption 2, created a new standard among the uh, beautiful landscapes and meticulous detail to its world. There is also a brilliant score that transported us straight to America in 1899. Here tonight, as a little surprise, to perform a medley of music from Red Dead Redemption 2 are a pair of Grammy Award winners, Daniel Lenoir with his band and fellow Grammy Award winning vocalist, Rhiannon Giddens. Enjoy. Your day is done, the time has come You battled hard, the war is won You did your worst, you tried your best Now it's time to rest Now it's time to rest Mr. Crash. 
Daniel, thank you. That was absolutely beautiful. Uh, and we want to thank the band for that amazing performance. It's always a thrill for me to bring the music from games to life on our stage, and I think we did it better than we've ever done it before. So uh, thank you so much, guys, for doing that. Uh, right now, let's take a trip back to Hawkins, Indiana. We got to do this? Let's engage. You should go. It's almost here. Avoid! Avoid! Please welcome the creators of the Netflix streaming phenomenon Stranger Things, Matt and Ross Duffer. Thank you, guys. Uh, it is very cool to be here. Uh, we were, what, six years old when we received this brand new system called Nintendo for Christmas, and we've been gaming ever since. Uh, we think this has been a particularly incredible year for games, which is kind of unfortunate for Netflix, because playing your games has probably delayed a release by at least, a, what, a month at least, for sure. But I mean, Red Dead, God of War, Astro Bot, I mean, come on, it's incredible. Anyway, we're, we're glad we could be here tonight to announce a new Stranger Things video game from Netflix and Bonus XP. It follows the events of season three with a few surprises of its own, and you can play co-op on Xbox, Switch, and PC. And we've also made a big graphical leap this year. We're up to 16 bits, so watch out, Rockstar. All right, let's take a look. the creative director at NetherRealm Studios and the co-creator of Mortal Kombat and Injustice. Here's Ed Boon. Thank you. It's great to be back here at the Game Awards. It's my honor tonight to present the award for best sports or racing game. Let's check out the nominees. Sports Racing Game.
90 with the drum attack. You a shit talker, we got drum for that. Trying to fix fight, boy, you dumb for that. Stupid. You gonna get a bullet in your lung for that. Stupid. Draco get the cooking like Lou Chain. F and N on me in the mood same. Glock 19 in the blue flame. I was strapped when I stood inside your boot thing. 21 immortal, we'll never die. Loyal to my brother, I never lie. Call me bird dog, cause I cheat and I'm fly. And I love winning, I'm upset if it's a tie. If you ever try to go against the game, we gon' drop it. Just to knock you to the flow. Yeah. Let's go blow for blow. Yeah. Let's go toe to toe. When it's time to battle, they don't never ever show. When it's time to battle, I'm the first one at the door. At the door. Yeah. Here we go. Sorry. Actually, sorry about that. I think they played the wrong video. Um, actually, here are the, the real nominees for Best Sports or Racing Game. Best Sports Racing Game. And the Game Award goes to Forza Horizon 4. Wow, Ed Boone, give it up for Ed. What a, vi what a visionary and legend. So there has been so many people working on the Forza franchise. It's a huge honor to accept this on their behalf. Forza Horizon 4 is now our best-selling Horizon game. Millions of people have played it, uh, both by buying the game and playing it in Game Pass. And uh, it's just been an incredible honor to watch. The team's working really hard, as you saw. We have a whole new update with Fortune Island coming on December 13th, and we're just getting started, so thank you. I want to tell you about a boy. Ooh, is it me? Please save your questions to the end, Rasputin. Okay. He was a uniquely talented acrobat, but also a gifted psychic. Don't forget my canoeing badge. It was a big pain in the neck. But somebody messed up and led him into the Psychonauts. Uh, that was you, Agent Crawler. This ten-year-old circus runaway was somehow allowed to join an international group of psychic super spies. And now he's headed to our main headquarters, right into the Mother Lobe. Man, you guys really like puns. But he better wise up. This is no summer camp. The mother lobe has its own way of doing things. Its own way of protecting itself from outsiders. Its fair share of dangerous, hidden secrets. If they ever got out, things would never be the same again for the Psychonauts. For your friends. For your family. For you. 
Listen, Rasputin. There are vaults that should never be opened. Not all minds are safe to read. Some brains are better off uh, broken. Don't worry. I won't do anything crazy. Well, whatever you do, just leave me out of it. Ooh, is that honey pepper boar bacon? Psychonauts 2 first announcer a couple years ago. Tim Schaefer, thinking of you. Great to, uh, we'll see you next year, I hope. Uh, I'm now joined by Phil Spencer, the head of Xbox. We saw you at the, uh, the top of the show with your new buddies, Reggie and, or your longtime buddies, Reggie and Phil, right? Yeah, no, really. Uh, Sean. You deserve credit for putting that moment together with Thank Reggie, you. Sean, and I. You pushed to make that happen. I think it's great to show the industry coming together. And Jeff did that, so congrats on that. It was awesome. Thank you, Phil. I appreciate you being a part of it. I think it's so important to have all of us here. We just love games, as you said, and That's we're right. here to celebrate. So it's, let's talk about Xbox, though. It's been a big year for Xbox. You just had XO18 in uh, Mexico City. Uh, how's 18 been going for you guys? Yeah, we had a pretty good year. We can do better. We had a pretty good year. Okay. Added some studios, shipped some good games, Sea of Thieves ship, State of Decay, Forza Horizon. It was great to see Forza Horizon 4 win an award. Uh, shipped the adaptive controller this last year, something I'm very proud of. Yep. No, it's, you said, it's been a good year and news coming about Xbox. We saw the guys from Studio Wildcard up here. Atlas coming uh, next year to Game Preview, right? Yeah, I mean, we have a long relationship with Studio Wildcard. They were one of our earlier Game Preview uh, teams. Game Preview really helps developers, always trying to build programs to help developers. Our ID at Xbox program, Game Pass. I mean, all these things just to help developers reach as many gamers as possible. Well, uh, speaking of uh, Game Pass, uh, let's talk about that. What can you tell us about uh, Game Pass? Seems like everything is coming to Game Pass now, right? Yeah, we had uh, Mutant Year Zero, people playing that game this week, yep. launched, launched into Game Pass. We have Ashen launching right now into yes. Game Pass, which is incredible. Yep. So people are going to go play that Below game. Below next week, Below I think. next Cappy. week. Kingdoms Two Crowns next week. All yeah. of those in Game Pass. All part of Winter of Arcade. We mentioned we're bringing Winter of Arcade yeah. back. It's great to have all those games coming and launching both for sale and into Game Pass. Get as many players as we can. I love you guys supporting the smaller studios. Same thing with me here at the awards. You want the big games and the small games, and that's what makes this industry so vibrant. See, I Dead think. Cells Up. Oh, Dead yeah. Cells, such a good game. I know. <laughs> Congratulations <laughs> to those guys winning their award. Uh, 2019, obviously lots of big stuff coming from you guys. Uh, what can you tell us about 2019? Yeah, we got Crackdown 3, we're gonna be launching that. Uh, we've got Gears 5, which would just be incredible. One of my favorite franchises that's come out this generation for us, Ori, seeing the next Ori come out. You know, it's uh, gonna be back here at E3, which will be incredible right here in this theater. I mean, it's gonna be uh, 29, this year was, was an awesome year for gamers, and I look at next year, and I think it's just lined up to be yet another better year. All right, and also uh, we should talk about Devil May Cry. We saw the performance of Devil Trigger. You announced that here in this theater at E3, right? We did. I mean, the yeah. support we've had from Capcom is awesome and just seeing the game. And uh, people don't know Devil May Cry is going to be launching their beta tomorrow on Xbox so people can go out and play. A demo of Devil May Cry Yeah, 5, demo right? of Devil May Cry on yeah. Xbox tomorrow uh, so people can go give that a try and just see that crazy engine with that game. It's going to be great. All right, and that's coming uh, first to Xbox, right? The demo? First on Xbox, that's All right. All right, we'll check it out. Uh, Devil May Cry 5. Phil, great to have you here at the Game Awards. We hope to have you here every year, uh, <laughs> along with everyone in the industry. And uh, right now, let's take a look at some brand new stuff from Devil May Cry. It has begun. I will show you your worst nightmares. What evil lurks? I must destroy. All right, time to kick some ass. V, why don't you tell me everything about this job? A powerful demon is about to resurrect, and we need your help, Dante. Games play best on Xbox One.
you know, being in a refugee camp is, is not easy. You know, what is next? What, what are you going to leave tomorrow? Are you not going to leave tomorrow? One day I asked my mom to buy for me a computer. She saved that money for almost three years. It was like that moment that just turned everything, like everything is possible for me. 73% of the population in South Sudan is under the age of 30. They are born in war, they were raised up in war. So their mindset and attitude is all about war. I decided to teach myself programming so that I can make game for peace. I made a game called Salam. Salam is an Arabic word that means peace. So what you do as a player, you have to stop the bomb from destroying the communities. And you know, people start playing the game in the refugee camp and bringing the people together. And I have the passion and the capability to change the world and make a difference. Coming up, worlds will change in Fortnite. And we present the award for best game direction. And later, directing duo the Russo brothers assemble on stage and more music from the Game Awards Orchestra. The Game Awards will be right back. the composer of Celeste and a member of the Game Awards Orchestra tonight. Please welcome Lena Ray. As demonstrated tonight, games require hundreds of elements from music and art to acting, writing, programming, and design. Great direction is evident when the work of hundreds somehow combines into a unified creative vision. Here are the nominees for Best Game Direction. Best Game Direction. I didn't choose to be different. is long and unforgiving. No place for a boy. Hello, New York! Look, next time, leave the fighting to the pros. We don't want to kill any of you. But we will. And the Game Award goes to... God of War. Tonight, God of War also wins for Best Action Adventure Game. All right. Uh, I'm uh, 
son of a bitch. <laughs> Said I'm not gonna cry tonight. All right, um, first I wanna thank Sony for the support and faith you foolishly placed in me and our great team over at Santa Monica to my amazing wife. <sighs> son of a bitch. Uh, <laughs> And my son, Hilo, my inspirations throughout all of this, uh, to the unbelievable team that I've been blessed with at Santa Monica, every human being who put so much of themselves. Please wrap it up. Uh, uh, into this game, I am forever thankful for all of you and all the work, for the cast that we were blessed with. You guys are amazing. You brought it every single day and elevated the work that we wrote on the page beyond what we could have ever imagined. So thank you to David Jaffe, who created all this. I wouldn't even be here if he hadn't done that. 2018 has been an absolutely bananas year for games. We are all lucky that every creator out there, every creator in this audience, every creator out there in the world is absolutely crushing it, motivating me and everybody else to work even harder, but it wouldn't even be worth it or even, uh, we wouldn't be driven without all of the fans out there, without all the people who love games, all games, all throughout the industry, we have an amazing community and there is so much more that unites us than divides us. So thank you, everybody. Fortnite Season 7 launched this morning. He's had a busy day, but here he is on the Game Awards stage yet again, Donald Mustard. Donald, uh, welcome to the show, and congratulations on such an insane year. Oh, thank you. It's been an insane, crazy year, and uh, we're just humbled and grateful for all the players everywhere for playing Fortnite and for helping us build the game with them. Well, you guys, I know it's, it's an ongoing game, as you guys are a nominee tonight. So Season 7 uh, started uh, this morning. What can you tell us about Season 7? So Season 7, as you just saw in the trailer, a, a, a big, mysterious iceberg has crashed with the island, and it's brought with it airplanes and zip lines and a whole bunch of other surprises that players will be uncovering in the weeks to come. Uh, uh, and you also announced the creative mode, right? Yes. Uh, Fortnite Creative... Uh, is launching on December 13th, so next week. Uh, Fortnite Creative is uh, a mode, a brand new mode, where everyone will be given their own private island, where you can design your own games and build whatever you want with your friends. Now, this is a, this is a real labor of love for us. We uh, are all passionate game designers, and we think everyone is a game designer. And our goal is to let you build your own Fortnite. Wow. Um, now, it's, it's rough. It's, yeah. This is early. It's uh -huh. early, early. Um, early access is actually available right now, so if you want to get into it right this second, go pick up a battle pass, and you yep. can join in right now in this early access week. Okay. Um, but I hear there's, there's maybe something a little more? There is. So just in the few hours that it's been out, yep. we've seen just already millions of people building crazy, crazy stuff, and we suspected that might happen. Yes. And the map is kind of crowded. And on the island, and we figured we needed to clear out a little space uh, to make room for some stuff. So okay. let's, Sh let's watch this. Should we head over to the game now? 
See what's happening in the Fortnite world. That's right. Check this out. Now that literally just happened in the game, right Donald? So what you just saw yeah. was the emergence of the block. Mm -hmm. So the block is a, a new space where we will be featuring the best and the coolest content created by you. And we will be bringing it into the Battle Royale map right on the island, we'll place it there for everyone to wow. see. Okay, how are you gonna pick? We're gonna all pick it together. Okay. And so there's gonna be new stuff coming there all the time and we think this is gonna be an incredible way for us to all continue to build this game together. All right, so the block, if I, if I load a Fortnite right now, I'm, I'd see the block. Yeah, the Risky, risky Reels is gone. gone. Goodbye, uh, Risky Reels. The block is there, but don't, you know, don't, I, I'm a big movie fan. There, okay. We will find a way to get, you Movies know, back in there? We'll, we'll work on it. All right, well, the block, uh, creative mode. Uh, Donald, thanks so much for stopping by the Game Awards. Uh, we can't wait to see where you take Fortnite in the future. All right, so we've got much more Game Awards ahead. Right now, we've got a brand new look at Rage 2. Check out this. Next, the Russo brothers present Best Ongoing Game. And then, the Game Awards Orchestra celebrates the nominees for Game of the Year. Who will win? Will it be Red Dead Redemption 2, God of War, or will another game take home the crown? It's all coming up. agree that Final Fantasy XIV Online rises above expectations. A world that grows beyond imagination. With awe-inspiring lands to seek. As well as some familiar roads to revisit.
Final Fantasy XIV Online continues to astound players worldwide. Begin your adventure. Live your story. Fight your way. Final Fantasy XIV Online. Play for free now. Super Smash Brothers Ultimate! Coming soon, very, very soon! The Ultimate Showdown is about to begin! And the winner is... Everyone! In PUBG Mobile, there can only be one winner. That's kind of hard when you're facing over a million people every day. If you think you have what it takes, download the game right now. It's free. The only thing you have to lose is bragging rights. free now. Please welcome the directing duo behind Avengers Infinity War, Joe and Anthony Russo. Hello. My brother and I are thrilled to be here tonight to hand out the award for the best ongoing game. This award is for those games that continue to get better and better after their initial release uh, with new adventures and experiences for their fans. Uh, originally, there were 10 nominees in this category, but then they asked us to present the award, and now <laughs> there are only five. Oops. Sorry. Best ongoing game. And the game award goes to Fortnite. Fortnite also wins for best multiplayer game. The Russo brothers. Like, we, we love you so much, all of us, right? Thank you so much for everything you guys have done for, for us. 
Um, so I represent just the teeniest portion of the team that just works so hard every day to make the game that is Fortnite. Uh, there's just so many people pouring their souls, their talent, their time into trying every day to bring all of the people playing that game uh, joy and delight. That's it. That's all. That's our mission. Is how can we just bring joy and delight to people? And, and we're just so grateful. We're so grateful for all of the people who have uh, who've come on this journey with us, who've played Fortnite, who continue to play it every day, and, and with us help make the game better. Uh, we're, this has been an extremely humbling year for us at Epic um, as we have really learned and tried to just uh, do something that felt wonderful to us. And we're just so glad that there's so many of you that, uh, that agree with us and that are playing the game with us. So I imagine that almost everyone here, the reason why you are in the game industry or why you make games or love games is because it feels like a new medium. And it really is. Games aren't that old. And I think that's what's so exciting for me every day is that feeling that there's something over the horizon, right? And it feels like we're there again, that we're on the cusp as an industry of, of new, amazing experiences. Um, and I'm just so grateful for all of you. We're all kind of one big team, all of us in this industry, really pushing this medium. And I'm so grateful for it. Thank you guys so much. There are still lots of amazing moments coming up in the show. We've got more performances and, of course, the Game of the Year announcement. Uh, oh, whoa. What's going on? Okay. This is Joker. I've infiltrated the theater. Wait, seriously? He went alone to the Game Awards? But it's so far away. Why is he there? There's only one thing the Phantom Thieves of Heart specialize in. He's there to steal a treasure. Have you already sent a calling card? We're not the ones sending a card this time. In fact, we've been invited. Invited to steal the greatest treasure of all. What? Smash Bros. Is this for real? We'll be going up against the best of the best. Can't wait to see our fearless leader show his stuff. Persona! I am thou. Thou art I. Show the strength of thy will and rage against all challengers! Oh, Reggie, Reggie, Reggie. <laughs> we meet again. Quite the surprise. So, uh, all right, so Super Smash Brothers coming out tonight, but it looks like, uh, I know, great choice of shirt here, Reggie. <laughs> uh, the internet uh, is going crazy. Uh, the announcement of uh, Joker Persona 5 coming to Smash Brothers. Everyone's in this game. Everyone's in this game, right? So we've said that Super Smash Brothers Ultimate it is the biggest crossover in video game history. Dare I say, the biggest crossover in entertainment. The and, Russo brothers might have some and, issues about uh, that. <laughs> and, so, and so, yes, yeah. you know, the, the, uh, 
The game's about to launch. We're super excited. We're super excited to give the fans the opportunity to summon a persona yes. into the game. Amazing. All right. So uh, th you said Challenger Pack 1. So these are the, the DLC fighters that will come out? Correct. Sure? Yeah. And so this gives you a flavor of how we're approaching the DLC. So the DLC, there's going to be five characters. Each character will come with a stage. It'll come with a collection of music. Yeah. These are going to be characters that are new to the series, just like Joker from Persona 5, yes. characters that you would not anticipate to be in Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. We're super excited about this. Yes. The fans can go and they could get the fighters pass to get all of the five fighters that'll be yeah. coming to the series. We're tremendously excited. Well, I would think you'd be even more excited because tonight, Smash is about to launch, right? Smash is about to launch. Yes. And, uh, <laughs> you, you, you know you needed to have a really good show for me yeah. to be here versus <laughs> You've been you know, here every year for us, making Reggie. Making sure everything's going great for the launch. So yeah, we're super excited. Smash is uh, just minutes, minutes away, away yes. and it's gonna be fantastic. All right, well, Reggie, you've been here every year for us for the Game Awards. We really appreciate it. And before we go, uh, maybe we should head to the stage for the Game Awards Orchestra, a little something for Super Smash Brothers. Reggie, great to see you. Enjoy. <laughs> One more big score, we got enough money to leave. What do you think? Yeah. Nothing means more to me than this game. I would kill for it, I would happily die for it. I wish things were different. But it weren't us who changed. Trust me, Arthur. Just one more time. That's always a goddamn train. I don't want to kill all these folk, Dutch. Just you. What about loyalty? Loyal to what matters. Do as you're goddamn told. It is us or him! Red Dead Redemption 2, out now. Rated M for Mature.
to start with this game building a sound identity along with Lara's sort of evolved personality. So we kind of started from scratch for this one and really thought about what is Lara's mindset and how we can bring that forward with the sound. When I heard the first time the jungle in Dolby Atmos, I was, well, that's, that's incredible. We're all conditioned to look at, it, at, at a 2D image and trick ourselves to believe that it's, it's more than a 2D image. But a lot of times you think it goes this way. But what Atmos and this huge soundscape, it makes it feel like it covers you in a sound blanket and it's, it's magical. When we build a world, you don't just build a story, you're building a world. And that's what the Dolby Atmos really brings to the media, where you're feeling that you are this character, that you are Lara Croft. All right, it's finally that time. Here to present our final award as a member of the team that won Game of the Year in 2016 and won again last year for Best Ongoing Game from Overwatch. Here's the Vice President of Blizzard Entertainment, Jeff Kaplan. Two years ago, we were honored to be up here to accept the Game of the Year for Overwatch. It, it was so awesome and it meant so much to our team. It's so special right now to be able to share that with another studio. Here to celebrate all of the nominees for Game of the Year, the Game Awards Orchestra.
All right. Lottie Dottie, who gets the gotti? Here it goes. All right, and the game award for game of the year goes to God of War. Thank you and thanks so much to the team back in Santa Monica. It's just an amazing, amazing group of talent that um, really pulled together to realize this beautiful vision that Corey, Corey brought to uh, the franchise reboot for God of War. Um, and I'm so thankful that Corey returned back to the studio and joined our family once again. And um, you are an amazing visionary. Love your partnership. Yumi Yang. Yeah! It's really hard to see the behind the scenes work that goes into producing a game like God of War and um, the triumph that it is uh, without Yumi's steadfast ability to thread that very tricky production needle and the balance with Corey's and the team's creative vision, we would not be where we are on this stage today. So thank you to Yumi and the entire production team. And you guys, the fans around the world, um, together we all dream big dreams. And that's an amazing feeling every day when we walk into the studio to create something like God of War. Um, I want to thank my children for being the very best and all of the families throughout the God of War team who rode this wave with us. Thank you so much for the support that we were given over the course of many, many months, many hours, many years. And lastly, Scott Rohde, tremendous support to the Santa Monica studio, Shuhei Yoshida and Sean Layden. Really stood behind us through a studio reboot and a re-envisioning of this franchise, which takes a lot of guts at that level. Um, and the entire PlayStation family who stood behind us as in that partnership over many years to really realize what this franchise was capable of. Thank you, everyone. Corey? I'll be quick because they're flashing the please wrap it up, but I just want to say every single game that was nominated up here is an absolute freaking masterpiece. So please give it up for all of them. And again, please give it up for every creator, and that is creators of games, creators of movies, creators of comic books, creators of every single thing that enriches our lives, that makes us believe that magic is real. All right, I love you all. Congratulations to the God of War team for winning Game of the Year. Let's check the Twitch leaderboard and see who was the most successful predicting all the winners tonight. Uh, amazing. Well, it's been a great year for games, as everyone has said. Thank you so much for watching the Game Awards. We'll see you next year for the Game Awards 2019. Good night. I really appreciate it. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.